breathing is slowed when I'm around you. I can't help it. Feeling bliss so pure. I know it feels like you can't put in words. That ring There's a smile, I only smile. When I'm with you, there's a comfort I only feel. When I'm with you, there's a love I can only share with you. I'm so glad I have you because you're the only one for me. I love you, my love. And I will always be your wife. Your dress, it brings me to a time of class. You're so elegant, your skin is shining melanin. China doll, we, we finally arrived to the greatest day of my life. We embark upon the journey, uniting our hearts and souls together. You've always been my forever. Today, the greatest love story ever told is COVID. How many ways can I say or express my love to you? Well, I've got forever to do so, and I thank you for saying yes, Poppy.
has truly been good to me not even one sad day or minute have i had since you come my way i hope you know i gladly go anywhere you take me it's so amazing to be loved i'll follow you to the moon and the sky above Ooh, I go And it's so amazing, amazing Love brought us together, together Here in love and I'll leave you never Cause we got amazing love Truly it's amazing, amazing Love brought us together, together Give her love and I'll leave you never Cause we got amazing love All right. Welcome friends, family, and loved ones. We are gathered today in the sight of God as witnesses to celebrate the marriage of Jay Monday and Tammy Clarity. We hold Jay and Tammy up as family and a community of loved ones to christen this step on their journey toward what we pray will be a long, happy, and healthy life together. At this time, Jay and Tammy would like us to acknowledge loved ones who are no longer here. Although they are not here in physical, their spirit is among us. Can we please have a moment of silence to receive their blessing? Thank you. Before we begin, let us bow our heads and ask God's blessing for this special moment. Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessing upon Jay and upon Tammy. We come to you knowing that you have created them for a purpose and we're confident that your will for their lives contains some amazing triumphs. We ask that you bless them and keep them with you and you hold us all accountable to do the same. In your holy name we pray, amen. amen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we hold marriage up as a sacred union between two people who are committed to loving one another and spending the rest of their lives together, faithful to each other and to their journey. Let's be clear, marriage is a serious institution. It requires deep commitment, faith and trust in your spouse, and a lot of patience to make it work. In the 20 plus years that I've known both Jay and Tammy, and in the conversations we've had discussing the ceremony, I've seen those things. I've seen their commitment to one another, I've seen their trust in one another, and most of all, their patience. Above it all, I've seen two wonderful people who love one another. In the book of 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul provides us with a beautiful description of the kind of love that a marriage needs. He writes, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. Now, before we get to the part of the ceremony that will solidify Jay and Tammy's dedication to one another, I want to share with you all a quick little love story. In the year 2000, the start of the new millennium, Jay and Tammy first met. Many people had predicted that the world was going to come to an end, Apple introduced the first iPod. MySpace was still the hottest social media outlet. Mixtapes and DVDs were at the barber shops and nail salons in 2000. Sporting jerseys were a fashion symbol, and Jay and Tammy's worlds first collided. It was a mutual acquaintance who introduced them. Tammy remembers Jay's jersey, and Jay remembers Tammy's everything. <laughs> Neither report that it was love at first sight, 
but both Jay and Tammy admit that upon meeting one another, their connection was immediate. Now, all good love stories need a little drama, right? About six years after meeting and falling in love, Jay and Tammy separated. Although they disagree on the reasons behind the separation, they both agreed that they each needed space to grow. How many of us know that true love stories never have endings? Over the next 16 years, yes, 16 years, Jay and Tammy remained physically far, but emotionally near to one another. Each lived their separate lives, making separate decisions, and seemingly taking separate paths. Tammy would do drive-bys at Jay's jobs, and Jay would try to ignore her or tell her to leave. <laughs> Jay once told me that seeing Tammy during these times stirred up feelings for her she didn't want to admit were still there. Separate lives, separate decisions, separate paths, and separate plans. How many of us know that when we want to make God laugh, you tell him your plans? So this is a love story, right? Every good love story needs a catalyst, something or someone to jumpstart the love. I would like to introduce to some and reaffirm to others, Miss Monday, Jay's mother. <laughs> right. She brought a bag of what Jay calls fairy dust and sprinkled just enough of it into the atmosphere to jumpstart what was left idling between Jay and Tammy over 16 years ago. But again, how many of us know that true love stories never have an ending? As of today, you are all witnesses to true love, patient love, exposed love, and a little bit of fairy dust. Jay and Tammy have managed to do what few people in this world have done, love each other for who they are, just as they are. Today, we are all witnesses to the next chapter in their love story. Jay and Tammy, I want to urge you to hold that vision of love for one another because even though all of us here are behind you and rooting for you, life those challenges and in the midst of those challenges is the kind of love that Apostle Paul was describing that is going to get you through it. Knowing this, it's time to declare yourselves to one another. The couple has prepared vows to exchange and Jay, you will be first. I'm grateful to God that he has prepared me for the opportunity to celebrate, honor, protect and respect you. You've always been a calm to my storm, the beauty to my beast. God has given me the greatest gift in life, which is you. My prayer warrior and a voice of reason. You are my dream, my song, and my smile. <laughs> I stand here thankful to have discovered the best love, the kind that awakens the soul, the love that lets me know I'm home. From now to eternity, I will always be your best friend, your safe place. I love you without measure. I choose you today, tomorrow, and forever. You like that, don't you? <laughs> It's your turn. So, as you stated, about two weeks ago, you asked me how I wrote my vows. Yeah, I said no. And you said, when are you going to write them? I said, tomorrow. And you said, yeah, whatever. Meaning, you knew when I was going to write them, which was 10 minutes before I came downstairs. Mm -hmm. So, most of what I'm going to say, Sean's already shared, but I'm going to say again. Jay, it's been a long journey for us. Seven years of a relationship. Four, four marriages, marriage proposals that you proposed. Two marriages between us, one each. 22 years of friendship. And finally, we got it right. As we stand here today, confessing our love for one another, I want you to know that you are the strongest man I know. And I mean M-A-N, man, of all the men that I know. You are the strongest man that I know. You've been here for me and my children, who is now our children, well, they've always been our children, but, and our granddaughter, I love you, I appreciate you. You support your family 100%, no matter what, you fight the battle. 
I love you. Um, <laughs> The ring is an ancient symbol, so perfect and simple. It has no beginning and has no end. It is round like the sun, like the moon, like the eye, like arms that embrace. It is a circle for love that is given come back round again. Your rings are precious because you wear them with love. They symbolize your commitment to marriage. They remind you of who you are, where you've been, and where you are going together. As you wear them through times, they will reflect not only who you are as individuals, but also who you are as a couple. Jay, please take Tammy's ring. Please repeat after me. Tammy. Tammy. Will you be my lawfully wedded wife? Will you be my lawfully wedded wife? From this day forward. From this day forward. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. Will you love, honor, and cherish me? Will you love, honor, and cherish me? For as long as you shall live. For as long as you <laughs> shall live. I do. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Tammy, please take Jay's hand and repeat after me. Jay, Jay, will you be my lawfully wedded spouse? Will you be my lawfully wedded spouse? From this day forward. From this day forward. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In good times and bad. In great times and bad. For richer or for poor. For richer and for richer and poor. <laughs> in sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. Will you love? Will you love? Honor. Honor. Cherish. Cherish. Obey. Obey. Clean up after me. Clean up after me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick with love, China, uh, honor, and cherish. For as long as you shall live. I do. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's nice. All right. That's nice. <laughs> All right, Jay and Tammy, please hold hands and bow your head. Lord, please bless these rings that Jay and Tammy have exchanged. May these rings forever remind them of their covenant with one another, as well as the circle of love they have publicly, publicly created here today. May their compassion and kindness for one another always be like these rings, with no beginning and no end. May the precious metals remind them of their precious commitment, and if either begins to tarnish, may they joyfully undertake the sacred duty to make them shine brightly again. May their relationship always be like these rings, separate but close, simple but beautiful. May these rings always belong to their hands and their love always belong in each other's hearts. All right, amen. amen. All right, now to all the guests here, it's your part to have a time to take a part in the ceremony. I will make a statement, and you all will say as a collective unit, we do. OK? You ready? Everybody's ready? Yeah. Yes. Do you all grant Jay and Tim your blessings and pledge them your love and acceptance? If, you say, if, if so, say, we do. We do. Do you promise to encourage and support them in creating a strong and nurturing marriage? If so, say, we do. We do. Do you all promise from this day forward to encourage them and love them, to give them your guidance and to support them in being steadfast in the promises they have made to one another? If so, say, we do. We do. All right, thank you. Jay and Tammy, having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another in the sight of our almighty God and these witnesses, it is my pleasure to pronounce to you by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of New Jersey, Mary, Jay, you may kiss your bride. All right.
gathered guests, it is my pleasure to present to you Jay and Tammy Monday. Come on, Whitney. Next, we have Party of the Groom. Starting with Daryl, Levante, Lawrence, Andre, Yolanda, and Neil. Make every minute perfect, baby. It's for our shit. Don't nobody kiss it like you. Don't nobody kiss it like you. Bang, bang, bang. Don't nobody kiss it like you. Don't nobody kiss it like you. Stop in the morning, cause she's rolling while she making steak and eggs. Yeah. Da 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 you make me want to tap out and be tired Your pretty lips leave me so inspired I, I, I think that she a winner She can be a key winner Give it up for the Mondays, y'all Give it up for the Mondays Give it up for the Mondays right now Let's go! Surely I'm here for you anytime you need me For real girl, it's me in your world Believe me, nothing make a man feel better than a woman Queen with a crown, let me down for whatever 
there are few things that's forever My lady, we can make war or make babies Back when I was nothing, you made a brother feel like he was something That's why I'm with you to this day, who no frontin' Even when the skies were great You would rub me on my back and say, baby, it'll be okay Now that's real to a brother like me, baby Never ever give my booty away in the fat ass crib with thousands of kids No fight, you don't need a ring to be my wife Just be there for me and I'ma make sure we Be living in the effing lap of luxury I'm realizing that you didn't have to fuck with me And now they were going to their first dance As a married couple for the Mondays. Y'all, we here. Big round of applause for the Mondays.
Hello, hello, everyone. How are we doing tonight? Ah, that was a little dead. I said, how are we doing tonight? <laughs> My name is Kwaisha. You can call me Q for short. And right now, me and Daryl are about to do the toast to the broom and the bride. And I'm about to talk about you like a dog, but I love you. <laughs> You're going to go on that side. Um, I don't even know where to start when it comes to you. I just love her so much. The one thing that has always stood out to me um, about Tammy is just the way she just has this big, just open, giving soul and spirit. She will literally give you the shirt off her back. If you're hungry and she got two grains of rice, you're gonna get one, she's gonna get the other. That's just the way she's always been. And I told this story about twice today, and I'm just gonna keep telling it again, cause it's just my fondest story. Um, we met working at a, another place of employment. I ain't gonna say the name. Um, we met and we had only known each other for about a month and I was just in the office talking about, yeah, I'm getting ready to get married and you know, we're just gonna go do a you know, sweet little intimate ceremony. And she's like, okay, well, who's decorating? Who's doing this? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> we just gonna go do it. And she's like, well, I'll set up and I'll do this and I'll get you a bouquet. So I didn't even come to work. I just worried about doing my hair and getting dressed. And we met at this park. And when I got there, it was so beautiful. It was, in, but she wasn't by herself. It was her and Webb. <laughs> but when I got there, it was so, huh? I know. <laughs> it was so, so beautiful. It was just, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just the decorations and petals. And it, it, she really put her heart into it to not have known me like, you know, maybe 30 days. So that was just really a testament to the way that, you know, when she seeks out people who have, you know, similar hearts or someone that she really loves and care for, regardless of the amount of time, she'll really, you know, go to the ends of the earth to do for you and to be a presence for you. And I also love the way that she just commands that same energy within her life and within her space. Because as much as she's done for me, she's also fussed me out at the same time. We'll be in the office together and I'll be snacking on something. She'll be like, you ain't gonna offer me nothing. And I'll be like, you didn't ask. <laughs> but just the way that she offers herself and you know shares a part of her, she expects that from other people. And I feel like that's so profound and that's so strong. And I love that about you. And that's something that I don't ever want to change. And we've been through some stuff. I've seen you go through some stuff. You've seen me go through some stuff. But at the end of the day, you're exactly where you need to be with exactly who you need to be. And Jay, I love you dearly. Because you have a, you look, you a little tough, but you got the same type of soul and you got the same type of heart. So I just wanted to say, I love you guys. It's been an amazing journey and to forever. 
<laughs> all right, all right. So my name is Daryl Weeks. Um, I am the god brother to Jay. Um, you can call me Daryl. Um, me and Jay go back eons. We go back to Wilbur Section, East State Street. Um, we lived down the street from each other and we went to school together. Um, we both went to college and we came back and we just started hanging tight. We started just vibing into music together. Um, we started like linking with, oh, you like that movie? Oh yeah, I like that movie too. So we had like kind of like a movie vibe. And then, you know, our lives just started blossoming after that. And I kind of called ourselves like kindred souls. Like um, a lot of people would say, your soulmate is like your wife or your husband. Um, Jay is kind of like my soulmate. Um, we kind of been on one accord for almost all my life, kind of. Um, and I'm happy for her right now. Um, there was times where um, she wasn't in a good space. And here came Tammy into that void and made her happy. And that made all of us happy. That made mom happy, Dre happy, and all of us happy. So what I wanna say is, I love you both. I pray that you have the most wonderful life together. And we all attest to helping you guys out if you need anything, because we said we do. So I love you, blessings to you. I'm sure everybody here knows who I am. Um, Levante, um, Tammy's son. Crystal's son as well. And Jay's son. I came up here because I wanted to share my thoughts because usually I'm pretty quiet and people don't really get to hear what I have to say or what I think. So I wanted to come up here and tell them how much I think that they are perfect for each other. There's been a lot of ups and downs this year. And I think that this is just one of the highest points and that we should really take the time to enjoy and celebrate this moment. So, here's to that. Good evening and welcome. Just wanted to say, first of all, to God be the glory in this relationship. <clears throat> It certainly has been a long time coming, but it has arrived. I'm telling you kids that everything will not be peaches and cream. Uh, it's going to be some rough times. But knowing you too, you have already subdued the worst. What I want you guys to do, when you get in confrontations and you have little things and you feel like you, I gotta talk to somebody, uh, you talk to each other. And from that point, talking to each other, you seek God in the matter, okay? Because he'll work it out for you. You know I love you guys. Um, I know your love is everlasting, believe me. Uh, it's from this day forth until the end, okay? And being your mother, that's what I'm here for, to make sure you guys weather the storm, okay? And I love you. All right. I'm staring at 
your bear and pull the trigger Chitty, chitty, bang, bang I told her, the devil is a lie Them other girls can't compete with mine You do so good, you fuck my mind You pull it out, then you open wide You make me want to tap out and retire Your pretty lips leave me so inspired I think I got a winner, could be a keeper Cause she's such a good Kiss it like you, don't nobody kiss it like you. Uh, uh, 